In today's wrap-up, Armenian and Russian officials have held a number of high-level talks. On April 1st, Armenian Foreign Minister Ara Ayvazyan met with his Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov in Moscow. Ayvazyan was in Moscow to attend a sitting of the CIS's Council of Foreign Ministers. They discussed the POW's issue, Artsakh-related issues, and the targeting of Armenian cultural heritage by Azerbaijan. In addition, Lavrov held talks with Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Jehun Bayramov. They discussed Karabakh and the unblocking of regional transport communications. The spokeswoman of the Armenian PM, Manek Evorkian, furthermore announced that Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Russian President Vladimir Putin will meet on April 7th. Putin moreover held phone talks with Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev. They also discussed issues related to Nagorno-Karabakh. In Yerevan, Pashnyan met yesterday with the Deputy Prime Minister of Russia, Alexei Overchuk. Overchuk met with the Armenian Deputy Prime Minister, Meher Krikoryan, as well, to again discuss the unblocking of transport communications in the region. And Sylvanets Lika Zakaryan spoke to the Minister of Urban Development of Nagorno-Karabakh, Aram Sarksyan, about the construction programs planned for Artsakh now that the war has ended. Sarksyan stated that 6,000 households will be constructed throughout the Armenian-controlled parts of Karabakh in the next three years. They will be used to house those displaced by the Second Karabakh War, from areas like Karvajar, Mataris, Shushi and the Hadrut region. On top of that, Sarksyan stated that the highway between Stepanakert and Martakert will be shortened by 20 kilometers. Today marks five years since the April War, a brief escalation that broke out in Nagorno-Karabakh in 2016. The Armenian and Artsakh foreign ministries released statements in which they paid tribute to the fallen. The statements added that under no circumstance can Nagorno-Karabakh fall under Azerbaijani sovereignty and that the impunity by the international community galvanized Azerbaijan to start the 2020 war. After the April War, an inquiry was set up to investigate the circumstances, but five years on, the findings have not been published. The chairman of the commission, Andranik Kocharyan, will instead make a speech about the report in Parliament. The Kocharyan said that the 44-day war forces us to be very careful. Our military must focus on solving its problems, he said. And finally, in this week's episode of Insights with Eric Hakopian, Eric gives his take on the legal case against former President Robert Kocharyan. Why was this decision made? The symbolism behind this trial and what it says about Armenia's state of affairs. <laughs> 